All right, how's everyone doing? I have this shellback plate carrier that I keep sort of in my workspace. Anyways, you see here, I'm hanging it off of this garage rack with uh, these two little steel hangers that these racks come with. So I've been looking for a better solution to uh, hang plate carriers. And I came across these tough hooks. This is an Amazon sold product. It's uh, made in Montana, made in USA. And I think they're good for up to 50 pounds. There's a couple different types that they offer, but you can see it's really just a beefy, super beefy hanger with uh, end holders and a big old honking hook. I'm gonna run that. That's pretty heavy level four setup. I have another lightweight setup that I just keep handy in another area of the house, at least for hanging this one. Um, I wanted a little different style uh, hanger and then I can get those two steel hangers for other stuff. So usually I keep it there. I keep my woodworking clamps ahead of it and then it's not like if a neighbor comes over or something, it's really easily visible, but I can get to it pretty quick. I won't have to go digging through bags or something. Whatever. I mean, again, not a lot of situations where uh, that have arisen yet where it would be handy to have uh, quicker access. So I'll get this put on there, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, by the way, that is a super comfortable but not lightweight plate carrier. I have a video on it. That one is made by Shellback, really comfy for all day wear, for security, law enforcement, military, whatever, or just citizens who, uh, you know, practice a uh, real lifestyle. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, really nice plate carrier, but heavy, uh, so it's nice to have it hung up somewhere. Got it on here. We'll just uh, get it hung up. One thing I do like, if you use something like this, it kind of stresses the padding on the shoulder pads, especially with a heavy setup, but it's hanging, it's hanging nice and it ain't gonna come off. And uh, the only thing I'm, I'm trading off is there's a little higher profile. There's a little higher profile of the top of that plastic hook. If you're gonna hang something like this up in a, in a bedroom closet or something, uh, make sure that your bedroom anchors for your rail or your closet anchors for your clothing rail are into studs. I've seen more than one of those things come flying down um, when too much is hung on them. And adding an extra 15, 20, 30 pounds, if those uh, screws are just in the drywall, it's going to collapse at some point very likely. So you may want to reinforce if you're using this in a closet. It's kind of nice this way because it's hanging uh, facing me. I can sort of work on the get to the kit, whatever. I want to add something or pop some mags on or something. In a closet, obviously, it's going to be that hook is not. That would be kind of nice if that had a swivel hook. That's probably the only thing that I would say could be better. But other than that, it's a simple, great product. So I'll put a link to the Amazon store. Uh, if you click our link, Amazon will give us a couple pennies if you buy it uh, through our link. So we do appreciate that. We do appreciate all of our current subscribers. Thank you for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel.